my channel of Island Living. Uh, hope everybody is happy, healthy, and uh, enjoying their life. So today I'm going to do a little video on um, sanitation. So the um, reason I'm doing this video is actually a few days ago, um, we, I woke up and uh, I used the restroom and realized once I flushed the toilet it did not flush. And I thought, wow, there's something wrong with my toilet. So I actually went ahead and turned on the faucet and actually to wash your hands and there was no water. So with that in mind, um, I think about sanitation and how grateful um, we should all be to have sanitation, to be able to have um, running water and have a toilet to flush and so forth. It's a funny subject, but it's, it's reality and it's, it's our world that we live in today. So um, waking up to that was kind of, uh, gave me a thought, hey, I should do a video on this. So how did I handle that? Well, being that it was just our building, um, our condo complex that lost um, sanitation um, because we had a major leak in the pipe, um, I was able to go to another place to use the restroom. So first thing I did was thought about, you know, okay, it's only our building, that's good. Um, what, what do I do now if I have to use the restroom again? So um, I've thought this through before, being a prepper of the last few years is um, I thought about what would I do if I didn't have a toilet. So if other places still have running water, naturally they did, you can go to a restaurant or someplace. So we have a park in the area that's within, you know, two or three complexes from my uh, condo. Let's basically walk across the street and there's restrooms at the park and I believe they were open. But I actually went about a mile down the road, which I could have walked to as well. I drove a mile down the road to our grocery store and went ahead and went in there and used the restroom and told them that I possibly could be back. Didn't know when our um, sanitation was going to flow again. So um, we were without we were we, we with we were without sanitation till about seven o'clock that night. So from the night before about nine o'clock at night, um, my manager was out there till midnight. He said. And then they began working again about 6 a.m. to to a water leakage apparently we had. Um, they shut off our water, our sanitation, until um, 7 o'clock the next day. So almost 24 hours we were without sanitation. So again, the comfort of sanitation, of being able to use your restroom is a, is a plus and I'm very grateful for it. Um, so I, again, I thought it through, I already thought it through ahead of time. I have the park, I have the stores. We have some restaurants are open right now um, here in September 2020, um, not very many, and they would let me use a restroom. Uh, if you didn't have a restroom and things came to that um, where you couldn't use one, what would be your next uh, resource to do? Well, I have actually thought that through. So um, I have personally recently um, purchased a bucket. Now this is not the bucket I would use, I have another one outside, but I purchased a bucket and I've actually purchased um, a toilet, a lid for a toilet that I would sit on top of it so that I could use the restroom. I would put my bag in there and do my business and use the lid. Now you say, well, they have these luggable loos on Amazon. Um, when I looked at them years ago, two years ago, they were about $19 and, um, you know, $19 to $20. Today they are going for, I think, $59.99. Well, I tried to order one years ago, and because I live on the islands, uh, there's some things they won't ship here. And it didn't make sense to me. It was just a bucket with a lid, and lug, Luggable Lou would not ship to Hawaii. So I wasn't able to buy the Luggable Lou that comes with the, the, the lid and the bucket, and then they have their own bags and stuff inside. Uh, they wouldn't ship it to me. So I was unable to buy it. So I went ahead and purchased this and made my own thing. It's obviously still, it would still have a little bit of, I guess, ventilation here. It wouldn't close tightly, but um, I would work with what I have. Um, I do know that our Walmart carries the Luggable lid, which um, I've been trying to purchase one, but they've been out. And I think that might fit on the bucket, which would be, a, again, the, the, the tight seal versus this. But for the meantime, I wanted to make sure I had something, so I purchased the bucket and this toilet seat. Um, 
with that I've purchased the different bags I've got contract bags which are really really thick but they're large so you'd have to you know there's only so many and you know there's 40 of these or no excuse me it's a 10 count and they're very thick but you know they're very large and so that means I would have to go several times to you know and then throw it out you wouldn't want to waste it for just one time so you have to think about the different sizes of bags that you would purchase to put in here and how many times you would use your facility your man-made your human-made facility you have tall kitchen bags that you could use you have large trash bags you have the small bags now I would suggest since these are not the luggable uh, bags which are pretty thick I would suggest doubling these if not even tripling these okay so you have the different bags to put inside the bucket to do your business um, I also purchased some wood chips to put in here to cover the stuff and I also purchased a couple containers of cat litter so I put cat litter or I put ch wood chips or both inside the bucket after I did my business okay there's also another uh, way to do this you can actually take a, a bag into your toilet and duct tape it around the edge of the bowl I'll do two or three bags depends on how thick they are around the bowl do your business and you can still cover it with something and when you feel it's time to empty it out you would empty it out so you might need some uh, what do you call it, these um, gloves you know for dumping it and so forth so you might need those uh, you might need some flushable wipes um, basically if you run out of toilet paper um, so I have several of the different types of wipes um, to do you know my business as well I have lots of toilet paper um, there's an another item I didn't bring out but it's actually I bought one of those pop-up dressing uh, tents that I have and where would I use that at well I actually thought about it if it got to be where a person was out of electricity or out of sanitation for a while out of san sanitation for a while um, you know how much of the smell or whatever would absorb if I kept the bucket inside or kept the toilet you know using the toilet with a man-made you know with a human-made uh, bag in it how long would I want to do that and what would the smell be like and so forth not being able to flush so I actually thought about well I bought one of those uh, pop-up uh, tents that you use for people use them I think the shower and they use them for changing their clothes and stuff when they camp they're the skinny ones not one that you camp in one that you change your clothes in so I bought one of those pop-ups and I actually thought about it I would put it out on probably put it onto my patio and uh, put the bucket in there now they have seen different um, scenarios where people take uh, they take a beach the upright beach chair and they poke a hole in the beach chair and they make a hole in the beach chair that fits the bucket and they put the bucket there and then you, you have the handles as you're sitting in the chair to hold you up when you're doing your business um, so that's another thing I thought about I have one of those chairs I'm not going to cut the hole in it um, if it was came to a time when I would do that I would put the pop-up tent outside or if I if I had to bug out which there's no place to bug out here um, if I bugged out or put it onto my patio I would put the but the I would cut the chair out then um, and put the bucket in there and have privacy and keep the smell outside that's what I would do so I've actually thought it through that far um, being on an island I thought well, okay what can we do um, sanitation now we've had our um, sanitation our water turned off here years ago several times and in like a month it was it was at a point where it's just like every time we went to use the water sanitation it was turned off because we had this continuous water breakage and finally they were able to fix it for many many years and then again it broke uh, just a couple days ago so I thought about that um, so you have to think about these things um, not that you want to because we're, we, we're used to conveniency of using the restroom and using our sanitation and our toilets and so forth but um, when it, you wake up and you you know something startles you in the morning like hey how come um, you know I can't flush the toilet or how come I can't turn on the water it gets you to think you know if you're prepared and if you're you're ready yeah nowadays right now everybody's preparing for different things uh, so um, this is one area that I felt that um, I thought well, okay I have bags I'm actually thinking I'm going to get some more or maybe try to buy the luggable loo just bags online I know that for a six count they were like 20 bucks for six six bags and I'm thinking 
well, you know, that won't last very long at all. I know they're, they're thick and then they have an extra bag you put in, but I thought if you bought several of these bags, you know, and the, even the thicker ones, the more expensive ones, um, and then double those up, even double those um, to empty your stuff. Um, but yeah, get some wood chips. Um, we got cat litter. You can use sand. We got plenty of sand out here, so I could always go to the beach and get a, a bunch of sand if I ran out of any of these items to cover up the bucket smell and so forth. We have some um, in our parks and along some of our beaches here um, on Maui. We do have some um, parks and the, the parks and the <laughs> beaches I'm talking about. We actually have the outhouses. Uh, we don't have running water on some of them. So being on an island, we have many, many, many beaches, obviously many, many places to go to into the water to serve for snorkel or, or paddleboard or whatever. So uh, at those locations, we have those green um, outhouses. So uh, we would have always have those to use, but of course, if, if, if the whole island went out or the islands went out, we would have a lot of people using the restrooms and they would, uh, those restrooms and they would get filled up. But again, think I think it all the way through on what I would do uh, if, if I was someplace and how would I handle it. Um, also, there's, uh, you know, there's uh, those cotter pins, those cotter um, uh, wrenches that I'm thinking about getting, one of those four wrenches, which um, I'm going to order one from Amazon that you can turn on water in different places um, and different things like that to be able to uh, to just go someplace and turn on water if the, all the water's not out to uh, get a bucket of water for sanitation or, or just for um, to wash your hands or so forth, but having gloves. Uh, would really help too to keep yourself clean. So anyway, this is an interesting subject. Um, again, it came to mind a couple days ago when um, reality for the day, um, you know, came to into my life on where to go to the restroom and what to do. And again, so I want to say in the end here, um, I have plenty of toilet paper. Um, I find this funny because you know everybody panics when they buy toilet paper. Well, here on Maui, um, the islands. Uh, which most people wouldn't know if they don't live out here. We have not had we have not had toilet paper three different times. Um, the islands themselves, which is total state, is about 1.8 million, uh, have ran out of toilet paper. Okay, our islands have ran out of toilet paper. So whenever a crisis or an a event comes up, um, tsunami, you know, we get those scares out here. We get the we've had one or two hurricanes come close. Um, the CD, all this kind of stuff, everybody buys toilet paper. Um, so for reality for us is, it's not a joke, it's not funny because the islands have run out of toilet paper three times. And what people have had to do was they've used naturally the, all that they have, toilet paper, flushables, newspapers, magazines, gone into trash cans looking for magazines, newspapers, and so forth. So being on an island, we're in the middle of the ocean, um, we're the last one to get product. So it's not something that people joke about out here. So it's funny for others. It's not, we don't call it hoarding out here. We call it, it's a necessity. It's something that people have already experienced three different times and they don't want to go through that again of not having enough. So everybody prepares the toilet paper. Everybody has, most people have plenty of toilet paper, but we just keep adding to it. Um, recently, um, in the last couple months, I've, you know, I've gone to the Costco several times and I just, I don't use our toilet paper. I use, I uh, usually, the Walmart Scott's type brand or Scott's brand and I've looked into the toilet paper aisle and there's no toilet paper for in for a few months. Uh, I might be going on a day when it's already gone because as soon as the load comes in it's gone. Uh, right now our stores, uh, the local store in my area a mile down the road hasn't had toilet paper in a while. They're getting one load a week okay so that doesn't feel make people feel very secure as far as things that they need. Um, so anyway the uh, the toilet paper is a it's a it's a it's a good thing out here that we we store toilet paper that we it's not a laughable matter um, people can laugh at it about it at the main on the mainland but for us it's not it's not laughable so um, to be serious about it um, it sounds funny but it's not until you run out then you'll be like oh I'm glad I had mine okay so yeah so Walmart's been out I mean the store's been out Walmart's had some Costco's been out I picked up a pack about two months ago at Costco and I don't use their toilet paper but I bought a pack of the big the big pack of toilet paper of their of their brand and I actually gave it to a friend uh, I did that during the preparation when we all went furlough I went and purchased several times uh, toilet paper we were allowed to have one so I'd go back you know every other 
you know, once a week or every other week, and, I would, and when we got the toilet paper, I'd grab some, and then I would actually give it to somebody else, and I'd bless them. And again, for him, for out here in Hawaii, it's a it's a blessing to receive toilet paper. Um, so us being on the island, everything coming from the mainland, from Matson Young Brothers on a barge, everything goes to Oahu first. Then naturally, they have more people than the other islands. They have over a million people over there, and then the items come to the outer islands. So we are the one, of the, and then it's usually about two to three weeks behind them. So we are usually um, uh, the last ones. We will be the last ones to get product. Um, am I complaining? No. I'm just telling you, we live on an island. We know we live on an island, and we have to be prepared because we're in the middle of the ocean, and um, anything and everything can take place, um, especially in 2020. So anyway, um, I hope everybody's healthy. I pray everybody's health happy I pray you've thought through yourself what would happen if you lost sanitation and how you would handle it and what would you do and have you thought it all the way through and have you collected items to help you or your family I mean you, if you had a garage you can put this in the garage and do your business in your garage with the door closed you know and get one of those uh, pop-up uh, tents that I have you know if you want to be completely private but I mean put, putting one of these in your garage and having to do your business I just thought about it. that would that would be ideal if you had a garage um, you know, and not have to keep it inside, um, and, you know, have a couple of these or whatever for your family and so forth, so, and then have your cat litter or, or so forth, or if you live near a beach, get some sand, um, and then most people have sand from, if they have extra sand from being prepared for storms and stuff. So this is all about sanitation. Um, again, it's a funny subject, but um, I pray, uh, I hope everybody's happy, healthy, safe, and uh, thank you for watching my video. I pray you, uh, subscribe and you hit the like button um, it's called my channel is called island living because I live on an island so I've done videos of the island itself and when people ha aren't here right now um, it's easier to shoot some videos so I've been doing that I started the channel just at the time everybody was was going to stay home um, so I started at the um, you know end of end of March I started my um, my YouTube channel I think was right I did one video right before everybody went out um, and then here we are in September. We are still um, we're still out. Um, so um, I have more time. So I'm going in some areas, shooting some videos where people aren't. Um, not that it's wrong with people here. I just try to keep them out of video, keep them out of the videos, and uh, and it's easier to to, to uh, videotape because um, we usually have about nine million tours that come through the islands, and so it's a pretty popular island. So anyway, um, once again. Thank you for watching my channel, and as we say here in Hawaii, in Hawaii, aloha, and enjoy your day. Thank you.